Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt Garvin. We are here to talk about making comics today. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the equipment that you are gonna to need to do your first Comic Con. So if you've never done a Comic Con before, or you're thinking about doing one, and you're not sure about the equipment that you need to have on your table, or you know, for the table, I'm gonna be covering all the basics in this video, okay? So everything I mentioned is gonna be linked in the description below. So don't worry about taking notes, it's all down now. So let's see what you need. Okay, so first things first, you are going to need a high-vis jacket. Now, this is Comic-Con dependent because, you know, if you're thinking about doing a read pop show like an MCM like I'm doing in a couple of weeks, and if you are planning to set up your table, which I would advise you do the day before the actual Comic-Con starts, if you can, you are going to need a high-vis jacket. Otherwise, you are not going to be allowed to go on that Comic-Con floor. And this is because if you've ever been to a Comic-Con the day before it actually opens, you will see that that place is still actually under construction. So there are going to be cherry pickers on forklifts driving about and and the management of the show are not going to let you onto that comic con floor without at least a high vis jacket okay so i would recommend getting one even if you don't need one but it's always good to have one and not need one and need one and not have one so first thing you're going to need is a high vis jacket next up you are going to be needed a tablecloth for your comic con table okay now this is something that shows don't provide for you so you need to get now i would choose either a bright color or a dark color and stay away from white also, you need to remember, you know, the Comic-Con tables tend to be around six foot by two foot. So you're going to need a tablecloth that's going to be longer than that. You also want it to be not only cover the top of the table, but also either the front and the sides as well, because you're going to be using the underneath of your table to store, you know, boxes and stuff like that. So you want to make sure as much of that is covered as possible. Now, as I said before, there are links in the description where you can get these kind of things. But, you know, do a bit of research, you know, and have a look and find the one that's right for you. But you can pick these up pretty cheap. Next up, let's talk about safety. Your safety and your customer safety everyone at the comic con now especially in current times i would recommend having a mask and hand sanitizer for your table when it comes to masks i would suggest getting you know a clear plastic one so people can see your face and your mouth especially when you're talking to them and trying to sell them comics i personally think it makes it look a little bit more friendly but again as long as you've got a mask i think you'll be okay next up you're going to need some kind of till or lockable box you know basically as a till to hold all your money at the comic con okay now as we said in last week's video less and less people are paying with cash but I would still take a till with me because some people are still going to be paying with cash, okay? Now, this is quite an old one I've got now. It's quite big. It's probably a bit overkill, especially now in the current climate. But, you know, this is what I've got and this is what I use. And as a float, you know, what I take when I'm at the show, inside I usually have around £40 worth of £5 notes, around £20 to £30 worth of £10 notes, and about £40 worth of pound coins, okay? As well as that, I will have my card reader, as we mentioned in last week's video. There's my card reader as well as my power packs for it for the show and as more important than ever you're going to need your cables to connect them to either your phone or your card reader to make sure that you can actually use them during the show or if they run out of battery and you need to charge them again i would recommend getting yourself a craft knife of some sort and some brown tape the craft knife is really really good for opening your boxes of comics that you've just got back for the printer that you're probably going to use to transport your comics to and from the show and the brown tape is great for not only resealing those boxes at the end of the show because there's nothing worse than you know hoofing a box of comics and they split and they go everywhere so the brown tape's not only good for that but it comes in so handy at comic cons you would not believe you know if a chair breaks or your table breaks or your banner breaks a bit of tape works wonders so i'd recommend getting yourself a roll of brand tape now you're going to need something to actually display your comics now me personally i believe that comics shouldn't be flat on the table unless you've got some open for people to actually have a peruse at i think they should be standing up so people can see them from a distance so i use these cheap plastic stands i think they're very very effective and i recommend that you get some of these so people can see them from a distance plus you can also stack you know 10 or so on them so people can reach in and get the one they want i'd also recommend bagging and boarding the first copy of your comic in your stands this is because it's going to allow you to add signage like so so people can actually see how much your comics are from a distance as well as see those books okay because there's nothing worse than being at a comic con for three days and people constantly come up to you and saying how much is this how much is that and you refer them to an a4 sheet of paper that's on your table that explains how much your comics are i bought these little cards off amazon really really cheap again there's going to be a link in the description they work i use them all the time and people seem to you know really gravitate towards my comics because one they can see them because of the stands and they sell well because they're reasonably priced. Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly say, if you are getting value from this video today, could you do me a huge favor and just hit that like button for me, please? Because it really does help the channel and push this video out via the algorithm because this is one of the things that YouTube looks for. So I just wanted to say, you know, if you're liking it, give us a thumbs up, that would be great. Cheers.
Now, don't be surprised, after you've sold a comic, people are going to ask you to actually sign them. Now, Sharpies work absolutely fantastic, but you need to actually look at what color the covers of your comics actually are. Because if your comics are quite dark on the cover, a lot of blacks, a lot of dark colors, the average Sharpie is not going to show up. So I tend to use these metallic, you know, copper, silver, and gold pens, purely because it doesn't matter what color that cover is, these always show up, these always stand out. So I would recommend getting these and they look a bit classier than the average, you know, red Sharpie. Now I know I'm probably teaching you how to suck eggs here, but I would really recommend bringing a pen and a pad to the show, purely because you might want to take some notes. You might want to take someone's email address down. Me personally, I use it to make a note of all the comics I'm selling at a show. I have more than a few titles on my table, so I like to keep track of how many of each book I'm selling, just so I can see which are the more popular ones and maybe which ones are you know, not selling as well as they used to, so I know at the next show I need to bring more of the popular ones and less of the ones that are not doing so well, okay? So bring a pen, bring a pad, it's gonna help. Okay, this one's gonna sound like absolute madness, but I can assure you that I must buy. Now these are bungee cords. Why do you need to buy bungee cords? Well, regardless of how you're planning to get your comics to the show, whether you're gonna be using a large suitcase and wheels, which works, or if you're gonna be using a sack barrel or something like that, these things will save your life at some point because there's nothing worse than a lock on a suitcase breaking or you know the strap on your sack barrel breaking or something like that. These things are great to refasten those things. So it, again, it's better to have them and not need them and need them not have them because I promise you, these will save your life. They have saved me countless of times over the years. So get yourself some budgie cords. Right, let's talk about business cards and banners, okay? Now, you do not need business cards for a Comic-Con. I know that sounds like a crazy thing to say. At my first Comic-Con, I did not have any. I was persuaded to get some for the second show, so I did. And you know what? No one took them. The only people that actually take business cards are all the kids that will come up to your table and go, have you got a business card? Just because they collect them, okay? If you've got a notepad, you know, you can write details down. If it's an editor and something like that, they should be giving you their business card. So you don't really need a business card. It's an expense, especially for your first show, I would recommend not getting. Now, when it comes to banners, do you need a banner? If it's your first show, I'm probably gonna say no, but should you have one? Probably yes. Now, the reason for this is what you'll find, especially if it's like a three day con or something like that, people will walk around for the first two days and they will say, what I do is I walk around, I look at all the comics that I want, and then I come back on the third day and I pick my comics up. I know it sounds bizarre, it happens a lot. So if you do have a banner, it lets people know where you are because they'll recognize that. So it is worth getting one. And if you don't know how to make a banner, I'm gonna show you next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. But you know, again, it's an expense. If it's your first show, see how you get on, see if you like the Comic-Con and then maybe get a banner second time. Or again, if you need to get a banner, I'll show you how I do it next week, okay? That's the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, give us a like, share and a subscribe. I will see you in the next one. And remember, if I can make comics, anyone can. Take care.